besties my name is also and welcome back to my channel i hope you're having an amazing morning evening day or night whatever and wherever you're watching this video if you're a returning subscriber thank you so 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 much for coming back to my channel and if you're not subscribed to this channel yet what are you doing go ahead and smash the subscribe button right now give this video a big thumbs up and drop a comment down below also please don't forget to go follow me on instagram i hate it underscore now so i'm trying to get to 2000 followers on that platform i just hit a thousand last week so i'm happy about that also please don't forget to go check out my natural hair account that i also started last week it's called natural hair underscore nelsa where you can get natural hair tip styles and all that so stuff. before we jump into today's video i have a little quick announcement so i've noticed that i've seen these types of comments on my channel i might put them on the screen somewhere where i see people um put things like um big like 63 or things like that or people will go and comment on my channel go subscribe to me and then that's the only thing they comment from now on i will be removing those comments from my channel if you can't write a genuine comment all you can write is big like 63 or something like oh subscribe to me then i'm just gonna remove them and they're not gonna be on my channel anymore now that that's out of the way, let's go and get into like the real reason why I'm doing this video. This video was highly requested and I said I was going to do it like a while back, but I sort of kind of forgot. So here we are. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get sponsored as a small YouTuber. So I've had two sponsorships so far. The first one was with Tear Bear Printing and they're a very cheap yet high quality um, clothing company. And then the second sponsorship I had was with a much, much, much bigger company called Dickinson's Witch Hazel and that was a skincare brand. So there are exactly two different ways that you can get sponsored the first way is that a brand will reach out to you and the second way is that you reach out to a brand most of the time as a small youtuber it will be with you reaching out to the brand for tear bear printing they reached out to me both dickinson's witch hazel which was a much bigger company i reached out to them now the big question is how do you choose which brands you reach out to and you're lucky because i have my notebook here to answer that so what i would say is that if you're going to reach out to a brand make sure that you are familiar with that brand you know what they stand for like for example if they're vegan and cruelty free that you are aware of that know what products they have available make sure that whatever they have available fits with your niche Say on your channel you do mukbangs and all of a sudden you're like, oh, let me get sponsored by this hair company so I can do a hair video on my channel. That's not going to work very well in your favor. And when you're looking for brands, make sure that your brands offer you a great deal. And when I talk about deals, I talk about what you can get out of a sponsorship. So in a sponsorship, there's usually about like three different things you can get out of it. The first thing is money. You can get paid for doing sponsorships. The next thing that you can get from a sponsorship is something called deliverables. And deliverables are products you can get. Like say you were doing a collab with Shein, you got clothes from them. Or in my case, I did a partnership with Dickinson's Witch Hazel. So they sent me two products for free. I didn't even pay for shipping. They just sent it to me that's it and then the third thing that you can get from a sponsorship is actually what i got from when i spot was sponsored by tear bear printing they allow you to make money off of affiliate links or um discounts for example anyone who used my coupon code nelsa10 to shop on tear bear printing i would get a percentage of that money that the company would make from the people who use my discount code so that would be the third way that you can make money off of a sponsorship or get something out now of it. Now that we've talked about which brands to reach out to, let's talk about how you actually reach out to those brands. So most of the time, brands will employ social media people. And I find that the best way to contact those people is on Instagram. Of course, you can always go to a brand's website and look for their email contact information to see if you can get in touch with someone. But I find that Instagram is the best way. And that's actually how I reached out to Dickinson's Witch Hazel for my second sponsorship. So what I would say is that you should go send a nice little message to the Instagram account. And then if you get a response from them, what they will usually do 
is that they will send you the email of the social media PR person at the company and then you can email that person. And once you get in contact with that person, you can negotiate a good deal and they can figure out what they're going to give you in exchange for a YouTube video or Instagram post. So in my case, I reached out to Dickinson's Witch Hazel and I used this nice little message that I'm going to read to you so guys. So I also want to mention that the message I sent to the person on Instagram is also the same message that I sent to the PR person once I got her email. So I'm reading from my computer. I used the specific title and I think that if you're ever going to email a PR person, the first thing you need to do is you need to put the name of your channel or whatever you are. Like for example, my name... It, the name of my channel is Nelsa Simone, so I put Nelsa Simone and I put Times Dickinson's Witch Hazel so that they already knew from the subject of the email that I was asking about a partnership. So I said, hi, my name is Nelsa. I am a YouTuber based in Virginia right here in the USA. On my channel, I create lifestyle and beauty content to inspire people to live their best lives, as well as YouTube channel tips to help people achieve their platform goals. I occasionally do video reactions and motivation videos too. My content is meant to uplift others and to spread knowledge amongst viewers that will have a positive impact on them. For the past few months, I have been the customer of yours as a huge fan of your original Witch Hazel Toner. Another thing I forgot to mention, if you're going to reach out to a brand, make sure that you've tried at least maybe one of their products so that they don't think that you're just reaching out to them so that you can get something free out of them or money for no reason at all. So let me continue back to this. Back in April, I tried your Witch Hazel Toner for a week and made a video about it. It is, how, it is now one of my most watched videos and has helped educate others on the health of their skin. I was amazed to see my dark spots and acne scars disappear. Ever since then, your brand has been my go-to for all things skincare. With quarantine looming over everyone, I've had more time at home to work on myself and improve. I've been focused on my skincare much more frequently. I think that this would be a great opportunity for me to share your various products with my audience. I would absolutely love to support your brand by creating a product review or skincare routine video for my YouTube channel. That way I can share your brand with my audience. I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you. So that's what I wrote and I sent to the PR person. Now, here's a couple tips on how you can create your own pitch. And pretty much what I wrote to you guys was a pitch. I pitched to the company um what i wanted and i let them know that i wanted a partnership okay so first of all when you send a pitch you want to make sure that you are introducing yourself both when you're doing this on instagram and through email introduce yourself tell them what platform you're from like if you're an instagram influencer tell them you're from instagram if you're a youtube influencer tell them that you're from youtube tell them what your channel or platform does what you aim to do tell them why you're interested in their brand for example i mentioned that i tried their product back in april and i thought it was cool that made me really interested in their brand tell them why you want to work with them and then also tell them what you're willing to offer in my case in the little thing that i just read that i sent to them i mentioned that i was willing to offer a product review on my youtube channel which is essentially what i ended up doing about a week ago Another thing that you want to hype up in your pitch is some things about your audience and how your audience would love it. Because at the end of the day, companies do partnerships and collabs because they are hoping that the audience that you share it with will embrace those products and potentially buy them. Usually when a company responds, they will either already give you the terms or they will respond, say that they're interested, but not exactly highlight the terms. And then you can kind of like maneuver your way and figure out the terms on your own. Or in some cases, the company will say that they're not interested. For example, I reached out to Sand and Sky, which is another um, skincare brand. And then they said that unfortunately, they weren't looking for any people to partner with at that moment. Now let's talk about prices. So I know that for sponsorships, you can get paid money. In my case, with the two sponsorships that I got, 
I didn't get like direct money, 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 money. I got deliverables and I also had the case where I had an affiliate link that I could make money off of. But for some sponsorships, they will give you straight money. Like, if you are looking to get more than deliverables, like if you had been in my shoes and said the products are great, but you wanted to get paid for the products, in addition, you can always negotiate that. And if you negotiate that, make sure that you do it in a nice and responsible way. Don't demand it. Just set your terms. What I would recommend is that you should start a starting price and then an end price. And then you should try to always make as much money between that range based off of what company you're working with. When it comes to setting your starter and ending prices for sponsorships and partnerships and collabs and all that good stuff, something that I recommend is checking out this Instagram account called Influencer Pay Gap. I first heard about it when I watched a video by another small YouTuber named Sunshine, Sunshine Shaw. And on that Instagram account, anonymous influencers will go and talk about how much they got paid for various brand deals and kind of talked about how much they had in their following, like if they had less than 10K, if they had only 500 followers. The next thing that I want to talk about is fake sponsors and how to spot them. So I'm going to put some pictures from my Instagram um, on the screen. Um, I remember I posted something on my Instagram and then I got like a spam of me messages from different companies that said things like DM us. So I went and DM'd the company to see what it was that they wanted and then they're like, we would love you to be an ambassador, do this, that, and a second. And the thing with a lot of those companies that just go and like spam you, what they expect you to do is buy their products. Because in order to become an ambassador for any company, you need to buy the product or something, use their ambassador code, and then you need to go and share their products with others and get them to buy those products. But I remember specifically for one brand on Instagram, I'm going to post them somewhere on the screen. They're like, oh, we want you to be an ambassador. Just buy. You can get one or two of our products for free using our influencer link. The only thing you have to pay is shipping and all that good stuff. So I got excited. I told my mom I want to go buy the stuff. Mind you, I only picked two products. However, when I looked at the shipping, the shipping itself was more expensive than both of the products in the original price. The shipping was almost $30, which I found ridiculous. So that's something to look out for because sometimes companies can go and take your money and not offer you any benefits whatsoever. I want to quickly touch a little bit more on ambassadorships. If you're going to be an ambassador for any brand, make sure that it is a brand that you stand by completely and would not mind recommending it to anyone. Don't just be an ambassador for that brand just for the sake of being an ambassador because being an ambassador takes time and commitment and you always have to support that brand and showcase it with others so i would recommend that if you're starting out with ambassadorships make sure that you're an ambassador for one brand first and as you grow you can be ambassadors for multiple brands okay guys so that was it for today's video i know that today's video was honestly kind of long but I hope that you still enjoyed it and that it was informative and that you learned something new that you didn't know if you guys like these videos you no know, let me know in the comment section down below don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already join cookie squad Jackie family go follow my instagram at hey it's underscore nasa and that's my main account trying to reach 2,000 followers on that account so please help a sister out and also make sure to check out my new natural hair account called natural hair underscore nasa with all that being said i can't wait to see you guys in the next video bye cookies